Okay, so we're going to work on the what's for dinner project uh, for remaster here. So these are the these are the codes that you need to have in here. You can start off a um, any kind of spinoff in um, in the Khan Academy JavaScript processing environment. We want to have a background of 186, 145, 20. Um, that'll be the wooden table. And then we're going to do an ellipse that's centered at 200, 200. And then uh, a size of 350 by 350. That will give you the outer ring. Okay. And then the ellipse, uh, again, centered at 200, 200. And then um, a width and height of 300 by 300. And that's the inner ring here, which kind of gives us this plate. Okay. Now, your goal with this is going to be to use your knowledge of shapes to fill this up with food, okay? Um, if you give me one piece of food and you label it, that'll be a one on this assignment. If you give me two, that's a two. Three, that's a three. And four, that's... Or if you make it, you know, more detailed. So if some people have made like steaks and they put little burn, you know, like uh, grill marks on them, stuff like that. Um, yeah. So let's say I'm going to do two very simple shapes. Okay. So let's say that we do, um, okay, we're going to change the color, uh, to fill. You can see it defaults at orange, but you can select any color you want on here or see, defaults at red. Um, so let's select like an orange color. Okay. And, um, right here, I'm going to say, um, orange fill. Okay. And then we're going to uh, program an ellipse. So an ellipse is going to be a round shape. All right. I like to put everything at 200, 200. That's, those are the first numbers, 200, 200. It'll be the center of the screen. And then the width and the height can adjust as well. I'm going to go 50 by 50 and see what that looks like. All right, a little small. Um, I want to actually just make an orange. Here. So uh, maybe we want to double this. We'll go 100, not 1,000. Um, and then make this 100. There's my orange. Okay. Um, so over here, you need, you have to tell me what it is. So do that with comment codes. So this is an orange, okay? And then you'll want to move it so that you can put other food on the plate. That makes sense. Um, left, right, up, down, whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, use these sliders, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is going to be like a celery stick. You have ellipses and you have uh, rectangles. So I'm going to go fill and I'm going to put... Um, we're going to make this kind of like a nice bright green, like a spring green here, something like that, maybe. That's a nice color for celery. Okay, so light green fill. Okay. And I'm going to put a rectangle on here. Now, rects are, are, are going to be, um, so I'm, going to, I'm going to position this the same thing at 200, uh, 200, which is the center of the screen, and then I'll move it from there. I want the width to be less than the height. So let's go 50 on the width and 100 on the height. And then I'll adjust it. Uh, see that? <laughs> doesn't look very big. Sorry. We need to make it longer and skinnier. Um, so what I'm going to do is bring this down to maybe 25. That looks pretty good. And maybe this to 200. Uh, that looks actually a little crazy. Maybe 180. Okay. That's better. All right, so now I'm going to adjust it uh, and place it on the plate where it looks good. Okay, like that. This is a very, very simple thing right here, and this would earn you a two on this assignment. That's the celery stick. You can also do lines, okay? Uh, lines you have to change with stroke color. Um, so let's say um, that you wanted to add some decoration to this, and let's say that you wanted to add some lines in the in the celery itself, because there's usually some lines that go up and down. Um, so if I want to do a line, I go stroke, okay, 
And then I kind of select like a darker green color for the line, maybe like this and like that. Okay. And then I'm going to type the word line. All right. Um, and I want to make it, um, the first one is the X coordinate. So that is going to be, um, we want it to be kind of here, up here at the top. Okay. So, um, let's, let's play with that. Okay. So let's say, let's say we do it at 100, 100. Okay. And then the other one at 300, 300. That would be 100, 100 is like right here and 300, 300 is down here. You'll see that. Okay. This is another shape that we have. Okay. So that is obviously crazy and not on the screen, but I can move it. Okay. And I can move this guy down by just clicking on this and getting sliders. So I can move that down. Okay. And then 300, I can move this back. Okay, um, let's see, I can move it back even a little bit more. And then this one, move it back again, like that. Okay, and this one, I'm going to move over maybe like that. And this one over like that. Okay, so there's one. Now I can actually put a second one on there. If you copy and paste, um, I can hit Control C and then Control V. Um, that, and then I have a second line I can manipulate. I can actually move that over here and this one over here. And that kind of actually looks even better like celery. So, um, I can put this all underneath the celery. This is going to be, a, a darker green line. Okay. Right here. Um, this is going to be, uh, celery lines. So this is a way of, of kind of dressing this up, making it look more um, more interesting, more authentic, getting a higher grade. Um, so that's that's kind of what you need to do. Uh, create two foods that are not oranges and not celery. So you can do carrots. You can do. Um, people have done orange slices. They've you know created things with triangles. Um, I can show you how to how to do a triangle as well. Um, so let's say that we do uh, fill, um, let's say we're going to do like a little, I don't know, like a, like a tortilla chip. Okay. So, um, maybe I'll, I'll get like a nice tan color. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let's see. Maybe like a tan color in here. Like that. No, it's too dark. Like that maybe. Oh, that's fine. Okay. So this is going to be a tan, uh, fill. And then you can do triangle. Okay, triangles require three points, so and you have to adjust them. So let's say we start off with our first one at 100, 100. The second one is going to be at 200, uh, 200. And then the next one is going to be at 100, 300. Okay. And then that gives me that kind of triangle. Um, if you want to get rid of the line around it, you can see that the line is coming from this line, line 12. That's why it's that green line. You can actually type the word no stroke in camel case, and that will get rid of the stroke around it. Okay. So I could take this and position it in a, uh, in such a way. So let's say I need to move this one back, um, and this one up. Ooh. Okay, like that maybe. And then this one, I'm going to move over this direction. So you can like alter these, bring this guy back, maybe this guy all the way back over here, something like that. And we'll call that like a tortilla chip. Okay. Um, so there's lots of different things. If you wanted to get rid of this black line around um, around the orange, we can go uh, no stroke around that as well. There's so many different things you can do. Got rid of the stroke around the celery as well. Um, yeah.
so anyway, um, be creative, dazzle me. Um, don't do these three foods. <laughs> uh, do something unique and interesting. All right. Thank you guys.